The word bhakti literally means love and devotion. A bhakta is a person who practices bhakti, or loving devotion to God or the divine. In the Hindu tradition, the ancient text Bhagavad Gita refers to what is called bhakti marga, or the spiritual path of devotion. Bhakti is one of three types of yoga or spiritual practice, alongside jnana yoga, the path of knowledge, and karma yoga, the path of action. The major deity and one of the Gita's main characters, Krishna, teaches that bhakti is the supreme path because it is the easiest and most effective way to reach enlightenment. Bhakti as a spiritual path of love is considered highly accessible because it allows for the devotee to draw from personal everyday experiences of love to discover a connection with the divine. As such, the god Krishna takes several different forms in order to connect in different ways with his devotees. He appears as a child and plays upon the mother's singular desire to protect, nurture, and adore her child. Later, Krishna is a playful lover, evoking romantic love and desire. He also takes the form of a dear friend and confidant, and a respected teacher and guide. In the Shakta or goddess traditions, the goddess inspires bhakti or devotion as a fierce mother, capable of both protecting her children and also willing to challenge their mistaken and sometimes delusional ideas. Some of the most common texts for the Shakta and Bhakti traditions are the Puranas, a large class of Hindu literature that tell the myths and legends of gods and goddesses set within familiar landscapes that include local rivers and mountains. The Yoga Sutras, a collection of 196 aphorisms on the theory and practice of yoga, declare that samadhi, a state of complete absorption in meditative consciousness, is attainable through devotion to God or bhakti. While the Yoga Sutras seem to prescribe devotion as one of many possible techniques, the earliest commentators widely agree that focusing the mind on God is the best way to attain a steady mind. However, unlike the Bhagavad Gita, where devotional practice is directed at the god Krishna, the Yoga Sutras remain pragmatic and non-sectarian. Bhakti in the Yoga Sutras is thus an efficient tool for yoga practice that does not identify with any particular expression of God. Much of the history of yoga practice highlights austerity and renunciation, and is therefore less accessible to people with families and work commitments. Similarly, the study of religious texts and the performance of exact rituals requires resources and access to knowledge that is often exclusive. In contrast, bhakti engages the depths of human experience and connects to the heart. By celebrating moments of passion and vulnerability, bhakti directs the common and everyday moments of living towards the infinite divine. Thank you.